Here we go again. A face mask mandate for all Shelby County businesses ordered by the Shelby County Health Department that starts first thing Friday morning. Yeah, the order applies to everyone over age two, even if you are vaxxed. It states you must wear masks for all indoor public places in Shelby County, but you can remove it when seated at restaurants and bars. However, masks will remain optional outdoors since the risk of spreading the virus is lower. Also, because this order only affects businesses, the health department claims it is not defying Governor Bill Lee's executive order making masks voluntary in schools. Kayla McCarthy spoke with a business owner about how they plan to adjust to this latest directive. Businesses I asked about this countywide mask mandate say they aren't surprised and they don't mind following it. One business says it's actually a good idea until cases slow down again. Small businesses like Silk and Honey have had to adapt to ever-changing health directives in Shelby County, especially with the surge of the highly contagious Delta variant. We're still today here today just wondering like, wow, and see what um, everything we've created. Manager Brianna Cobb says the Shelby County Health Department's latest health directive requiring masks inside all businesses is one of our only tools in stopping the rising number of cases. You put the rules in place in the beginning and you don't have any issues going forward. The women's clothing boutique has required masks for everyone inside since they opened their brick and mortar store a year ago this month. Our demographic kind of understood, hey, wear your mask so we can shop at Silk and Honey store. <laughs> and if we keep it up, she hopes business can keep growing. Yes, I would love to get back to normal so we can have our events. We usually kind of throw a small event every at the end of every month. But of course, with COVID rising back up, we kind of put a halt on it, but we will be back every single month after. And the health department is recommending for anyone unvaccinated, they wear a mask in any crowded space. And again, this takes effect Friday morning. In downtown Memphis, I'm Caitlin McCarthy.